Well, it's time now for On Your Doorstep. So what we're doing today is uh, we're going to our reporter, Alice Porter. She's in Dagenham. And she's talking to people there about the issues concerning their community. And Alice, we just wonder how high up the agenda Ukraine is, because we we were saying earlier, uh, as soon as uh, Putin made that um, threat about nuclear options, and it's over the front pages of the papers today, I think a lot of people felt that this war was coming or could come to them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as you're saying there, I'm in Dagenham, the east end of London, which is an incredibly multicultural area within London, and there's a lot of refugees and asylum seekers who live in the area. So, of course, to have this ongoing crisis with Ukraine and major questions about what is going to happen with the people there and who is going to be giving them anyone asylum and who's going to be taking in these refugees, it's a big question that many countries are asking, particularly people here in this area. Lovely. Well, who have you got, who have you got to talk to? Well, I've come down to the Beckentree Estate, which is right in the centre of the area of Dagenham. And the estate is absolutely fascinating. It's the largest council estate in the UK, but not just the UK. It's the largest council estate in Europe. So I thought it would be a great idea to come down and meet some of the people here. Now, very much the heart of the estate is Kingsley Hall Community Centre. This has been here for almost 100 years, and it's doing some amazing charity work with so many of the local people here. So I thought it would be a great idea to come down and take a look at some of the amazing work that's being done here. So, good morning. Hello there. You're live with Eamon Holmes and Isabel Webster for GB News. Um, good morning. Uh, Chris, do you want to sort of introduce yourself and tell us who you are and how long you've been working here for? Yeah. Well, welcome to uh, Kingsley Hall, which is 93 years old on the Beckentree Estate. Amazing. Well, I'm not 93 years old. The charity is 93 years old. Uh, my name's Chris, and I've been working here for eight years now as director. Love uh, living and working in the Beckentree Estate. Well, brilliant. Well, thank you for letting us come along. Um, can we come in and just sort of have a look around us as to some of the work that you're doing? Because I know I've heard about this. This is the social supermarket. So just tell us what is a social supermarket and what is it doing in the area? Well, it's uh, part of our uh, COVID response work. So throughout the pandemic, uh, we've been working with serving uh, hundreds of local people, vulnerable people with food drops. And really beyond that, we've seen now the increased uh, local food poverty. And so this is our response to that. Kingsley Hall provides a whole range of services to local community, working from all ages, youth, uh, vulnerable adults, uh, young children, all the way through all ages. And our social supermarket is available for all the community to come and uh, uh, receive vital essential supplies. Well, great. I'm going to grab a basket yes, here. Please, okay, please. so just talk me through. Hello there. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi there. Thanks for letting us come in. Um, so, you, all right, I've got my basket. How does this all work? I'm, I'm seeing there's a sort of points-based system. Is that so is it, effectively this is, I assume, a bit like a food bank, but you're, it's a slightly different way in which it's operating? Yes, so everything is laid out um, enabling the dignity of choice so anyone can come and uh, use it. We do receive uh, referrals and so do offer uh, free food. We've been able to give away more than 50,000 uh, items of free food in uh, over recent months. And, um, but it is on a points-based system, so uh, 20 points equates to 20 pounds worth of food. And for people that are able to afford it, they're able to pay five pounds towards that. So effectively, uh, you know, it's uh, subsidised uh, by uh, uh, five pounds instead of uh, 20 pounds. And uh, there's opportunity. It promotes generosity of spirit, so people can uh, do kind of pay it forward and. Uh, uh, give a voucher for somebody that maybe can't afford it. But nobody goes away without food, w whether they've got any money or not. That's absolutely fine. Well, We're well, here to serve everybody. Well, when you're talking about generosity of spirit, I mean, I feel like we sort of have to really sort of talk about that in relation to the terrible situation in Ukraine. A lot of discussion mm. about what is going to happen with the people there, particularly there's been some criticism that the government here isn't going to be, isn't doing enough in terms of supporting refugees. I mean, what's your sort of own policy on that in terms of the work that you're doing in the area? Well, our founder in 1929, Muriel Lester, uh, was actually uh, one of the uh, uh, leaders of the um, Fellowship of Reconciliation, and so peace has always been a, a key value for us, and our, our heart breaks, along with everybody else, with the you know tragic 
catastrophic uh, uh, scenes at the moment. We, we work with people from a Ukrainian background, we work with people from uh, Russian backgrounds, and uh, uh, we absolutely believe that we need to uh, open our doors to refugees. We need, you know, as tough as things have been over recent times, uh, we need to lower our walls and widen our tables and just extend uh, hospitality to those that need it. And Kingsley Hill would very much want to be a part of any initiatives to do that. Well, look, thank you so much for letting me pop by today. I'm going to be going round the Beckinshire estate and meeting some more people on this really fascinating and historic uh, estate that has been in the area here in Dagenham for over 100 years. Yeah, and great to hear the work they're doing there at Kingsley Hall Community Centre uh, there as well in Dagenham. So thanks, everybody. And Alice will be out and about. She might be knocking on your door uh, between now and 9.30.